Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hassan Kasim, and I am an MBA student at Putra Business School, Malaysia. And I'm glad and proud to present to you my conceptual paper, which is a part of my graduation thesis in the IMCCRT Conference 2020. The name of this conceptual paper is the factors affecting online purchase intention among university students in Malaysia, a quantitative study during COVID-19. So first of all, let's start with the introduction. It's a fact that coronavirus has been declared as the most contagious virus of the 21st century. This virus has created rapid and massive effects to the international economy and the life of billions of people all around the world. The situation that has been created by the virus widespread in the whole globe has also made a significant impact on the e-commerce industry in Malaysia. The complete shutdown of everyday life has made many businesses related activities such as shopping to be completely online. Therefore, the decision to purchase online became a crucial, a crucial rule in online customers' behavior, especially during COVID-19 times in Malaysia. The number of people who use internet in Asia has increased by 1,916% from 140 million users in the year 2000 to more than 2.3 billion internet users in 2020. Regarding Malaysia, the number has grown by 17.1% with more than 26 million internet users in 2020, according to the Internet World Stats 2020. Furthermore, according to Rakuten Insight Report Malaysia 2020, 4% of respondents aged 16 to 24 reported online purchase every day. However, 24% of respondents between the age of 25 and 34 brought less than once a month. This indicates that university students are a very important customer segment that need to be studied effectively because university students are the employees of tomorrow, and they are the one who will be able to earn high income in the future. Therefore, understanding and examining this uh, customer segment will contribute positively towards the business's growth and success. My paper is consists of one, independent, one dependent variable and three independent variables. The first independent variable is trust. Scholars stated that pr trust performs a critical role in e-commerce because of the limited face-to-face -face communication between the merchant and the customer in the virtual environment. Trust refers to the perspective of customers regarding the online store based on many factors such as authenticity and security. Hence, the intention of customers to shop online drives from the customer's belief of their information security. The second independent variable in my research is perceived quality. Perceived quality is found as another critical component to online purchase intention. Lutz 1986 stated that perceived quality interprets to be more significant for durable goods if the product evaluated before the purchase. As such, perceived quality explains as when consumers evaluate the quality of the product to choose, which product suits them the most. Moreover, the higher the perceived quality, the higher the intention to purchase. Thirdly, my third independent variable is online reviews. Online product reviews has a significant relationship with online purchase intention, mainly due to the to information of the product, which previously was purchased by the other customers. Hence, online reviews are the information advisors who share their experience and at the same time reveal essential information of their purchased product. Secondly, going to literature review, Online purchase intention, which is my dependent variable, is defined as the force that drives customers' expectation to undertake 
a specific purchasing activity through the internet. Increase in purchasing intention leads to a growth in buying opportunities. Trust, which is my first independent variable, is described as crucial factor which enhances communication with the customer and the businesses, especially during the development of the relationship with the seller. Trust is regarded as a crucial factor which helps in shaping each sex successful relationship between the buyer and the seller. Also, trust encourages customers to have a high expectation to fulfill the trade relationship between the merchant and the buyer. My second independent variable definition, which is perceived quality, is defined as the judgment of customers on the objective value or supremacy of the product. Perceived quality emerges from the measure of customers' preferences with a company or a product's real output. Perceived quality is affecting customers' purchasing intention heavily as it's recognized as one of the crucial factors in understanding and influencing purchase intention. Perceived quality is the decision of the customers about the value and the reliability of, her, of the product based on personal expectation. My third independent variable definition, which is online review, online reviews is defined as a, any positive or negative statement made by potential actual or formal customer about a product or a company which is made available to a multitude of people and institute via the internet. Online reviews described as peer-generated product evaluations posted on a company or third-party website. Furthermore, regarding the online reviews of the customers, we can see that there is positive and negative online reviews. Both, both of these reviews will affect the customer's intention to purchase online because these reviews will contribute positively towards the customer's expectation. Thirdly, going to the relationship between the construct. As I said earlier, my paper has one dependent variable and three dependent variable. So the relationship between my first independent variable and the dependent variable, which is trust and online purchase intention, has been positive, has been examined by many uh, researchers, and it's been found to be a significant relationship. However, there is a lack of studies regarding uh, examining this relationship during COVID-19 times among university students in Malaysia. Secondly, regarding the relationship between my second independent variable and dependent variable, which is perceived quality and online purchase intention. Perceived and theoretical empirical studies for the relationship between perceived quality and purchase intention has indicated the positive effect of perceived quality in relation to online purchase intention. However, there is a lack of studies between the relationship, uh, between the relationship of uh, perceived quality and online purchase intention during COVID-19 times among university students in Malaysia. Regarding the relationship between my third independent variable and dependent variable, which is online review and online purchase intention, um, there, are, there has been many researches that found a positive relationship between online reviews and purchase intention. However, there is a huge lack of studies between uh, examining the relationship of online reviews and online purchase intention during COVID-19 times among university students in Malaysia. Below is my uh, conceptual framework. And as you can see that my three uh, independent variable has a, a relationship with my independent variable. And thus, I would like to examine this relationship uh, in, during the COVID-19 times among university students in Malaysia because there is a lack of research of uh, that examined this kind of relationship during this troublous times. Lastly, in conclusion, as technology advances and Malaysian students increasingly 
increasingly prioritize the crop mentality while purchasing online. There should be opportunities for instant reaction to evaluate online purchase intention among university students in Malaysia, especially during the er this era of troubleness. For that reason, this conceptual paper will focus on the impact of customers' online purchase intention by assessing three important variables, which are trust, perceived quality, and online reviews, and further studies are required to improve the initial finding and to deepen the scope of research regarding the factors that affect online purchase intention. That's all for me. Thank you very much for your attention.